Okay, there it is. Bellin Country Poly Stock Tank, heavy duty, 20 year. Okay, we are in. We are full, and um, I've added quite a bit of inoculant and stuff. I don't know if you can see the yellow foamish looking stuff. Um, a little skim track on there. It's doing a little bit of a job, not much. We've got the stack pipes in, so we're flooding the beds fairly high. Um, the heat of the day has passed, if there was any. I mean, that you can consider heat. Um, you can see we're flooding pretty high. Uh, and it looks like everybody snapped back, except what, you know, if you got cords laying on you. Um, but yeah. Okay. So, um, the only thing we can hope is that we'll do our test for numbers, and with the uh, 400, uh, 400 gallons addition um, for the new size, mixed into the 600 gallons from over here, we'll, uh, we'll saturate some of that, uh, uh, desaturate some of that ammonia. Um, but at any rate, we're up in the beds now, so um, if the temperature is going to stay up, which it is not going to, um, the beds will do it within, I don't know, 24 hours, but it still should be a little warmer. So we've probably reduced the ammonia by half, I would say, um, roughly half, um, given that the beds are going to do something today anyway, um, and some tonight before the cold weather moves in. So uh, that's if uh, the beds weren't dry for too long and the uh, bacteria started to suffer, taking massive damage from becoming dry and, and now also hot. Um, dry is not so bad if it's frozen uh, because the temperatures are cool, but it didn't get above 70 degrees today, although maybe the beds did because these rocks do um, produce heat or reflect heat or capture heat, hold heat, whatever. Um, they always feel water or warmer than everything else. All right, that's all I have. Uh, this is probably going to be the end of stock tank, although I do think that our swap tank, I do think that um, I should end properly, and that's uh, with a clear bottom and uh, the fish. So you give me a couple days for the weather to get better um, and for the, uh, the beds to actually do their job. Um, you can see I've got the barley straight uh, bale in there and the liquid barley and, uh, let's see, uh, Nitro Max. Uh, that's a brand name though, but it's a denitrifier and a helper, and I also have the uh, microbial lift in there. Um, so uh, there's some good stuff. We just we just need the temperature to consistently stay above 74 degrees for things to become um, very nice. Um, last year at this time, these greens uh, were yellows. I made comments about it. This year, they're greens. So. Very interesting. That just tells you the amount of nutrients. We saw that yesterday. The nutrients in the water that the plants eat were reflected by the red tube in the test tube. Okay, that's it. Thanks, guys.